Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Thank you for joining me for this video. Today, as you can see from the title, I'm doing a little bit different video than usual because I want to share with you outfits I wore recently. So I want to share outfits which I really did wear in the last few weeks. And I hope you will like this idea, like the reverse, not like creating outfits and then maybe I use them or maybe not. I actually want to share the outfit which I have already put together and actually left my house in them. And I think that might be more practical and maybe more relatable uh, because it's not something crazy um, well they are not boring I think also I hope so I hope you like this idea and maybe we can do it as a series like maybe once a month I can share some outfits that I wore the previous month so this will be like part number one November 22 because personally I really lo love styling and I like putting outfits together and I'm also a believer that looking good is really one of the keys to success and happiness in life I know it might si sound silly but trust me if you leave your house looking into the mirror and being happy of how you are put together, how you look, you are much more confident, you are much much more ready to conquer the world and face all the daily problems. So I really hope that you like my idea, that you will like this type of video and we can do it on a regular basis. So let's start with first outfit and I'm already uh, wearing this dress. Uh, this is the Moschino dress which I picked up in um, Venice, I think, in a designer outlet. I really do love the flower print on this black and white base and I actually wore this outfit uh, twice. In Italy I wore this dress with white sneakers and my YSL bag, uh, this favorite YSL bag. And it's a very easy, simple look, uh, very comfortable for running around the town. Second way I wore this dress was with black sneakers and my pink YSL wallet on a chain and a Zara jacket. second way I uh, wore this dress, uh, it's more of for Icelandic weather and I think for this uh, jacket, this is a Zara jacket from last uh, season, I think the black sneakers will go better because of the more black on this uh, jacket, obviously. And then as a pop of color matching the flowers on the dress, I took this YSL wallet on the chain and then we were uh, going to get some ice cream and have a walk. For the second look we are going to do this dress and uh, Gucci sneakers which are picking on the color of the dress. The dress comes with a belt and I actually tend to use this belt tend to make a knot or a little bit something. The dress is from Mojito, it's a Polish brand and I got it in Poland when I was there uh, last summer. I did wear the dress with my uh, navy uh, YSL bag have to tell you I was complaining about this bag so much in my video about like you know I'm disappointed about the scratches and about those quality issues but I actually I enjoyed so much wearing this bag uh, it's been a while since I was using it like the previous time and I was wearing it and I was looking in the mirror and I was like oh that looks so good I don't know why I have so addiction to navy I don't understand, don't ask me, but I was very happy to wear mm, this bag and I wore it with Max Mara coat which I got last winter. So this is the coat, I got it in Italy last winter and I remember I saw it the first time, it was like 660 euro I think and I didn't buy it and thankfully because next time I was in Italy it was on sale and I paid something over 400 euro. So that's good, it's a like Max Mara woolen coat in this beautiful pink, uh, dir dusty, dirty, but more like a darker pink uh, and I think it goes very well with this uh, outfit and also with the back. So this is the outfit together, the dress, uh, the coat and navy bag and the pink shoes, which I think everything goes so nicely together. And yes, I actually indeed wear bags like this a lot. I wear them under my coat because hello, I live in Iceland and it's very wet here. So uh, very often to protect my bags, I actually wear them under coats. Um, so that's how I would actually wear it. For the next outfit, we are switching to this dress. This is also a dress which I bought in Poland on sale from some uh, Polish brand, I believe. And we are going to belt it with a uh, Celine belt. So that's the dress on and actually the dress would go very well with the same sneakers, uh, with those Gucci pink sneakers. It uh, matches very well. However, for more autumn look, I would wear them with uh, boots. So I have this uh, maroon color uh, boots from H&M from years ago. So here we have the boots and for the outwear, where we can do the same Max Mara coat because it looks amazing. So that's the Max Mara coat with this dress. So I think it looks... Uh, very appropriate, very well put together. 
And I actually wore this with this YSL back again. So I matched the belt and the back uh, together and the rest of the outfit in more uh, cool pink tones. However, for the coat, I could do another one, which is uh, matching the shoes. So let me show you. So this is a Zara coat from a year or two ago uh, and it matches the shoes. I actually really like to wear this uh, coat with those shoes. So this is how it looks. And actually by accident, I have even super matching scarf. So we are going to use it. So that's the full look with this coat. I actually wore it with the Max Mara coat the last time I uh, used the dress. Uh, but if I go for this coat, I think I would pick this uh, envelope back. I think it kind of uh, gives a little bit uh, of pop of neutral on the color. Uh, so I think it matches better than, than the black. But you can decide yourself which one you think goes better with this outfit. So what do you think? I would go for the envelope, uh, I think. However, black is never wrong. We have this uh, sweater dress from H&M. This is a new purchase for me. It was actually uh, influenced by a YouTuber that I watch and uh, it is really nice quality. I was worried that it will be like kind of see-through, kind of very thin, like from those cheaper lines of H&M, but uh, actually it looks much better than I was expecting. It looks okay and it looks, yeah, it looks quality. So here we have the dress and of course I switched to very thick black uh, ties because uh, that's the best thing to do. It shouldn't, because it's quite short, so it shouldn't be revealing and I feel like a thick black tights, they always kind of pretend like pants or something uh, so we can get away with shorter things. And I'm going to wear this dress with those uh, boots, wedges boot from H&M from like ages ago. I like that idea because they are not heels but still give you elevation, give you some height and a, like a better posture. In higher shoes we have kind of better posture. Uh, so I think it still looks a little bit more chic uh, and elegant but it's not a heel, it's not maybe too provoking. Not that I think it's particularly provoking to wear this with uh, some kind of heeled boots, uh, but sometimes I prefer this kind of like more, more toned down uh, look. Um, so uh, the wedges, however, sneakers, black sneakers, of course, would look amazing with this uh, outfit as well. So here we have the shoe on, uh, black shoe, black ties, uh, it uh, elongates the legs also, uh, makes it a little bit taller. I am not the tallest person on the planet, so uh, probably good to have that. And here is the star of the show. It's my recent love from Zara. I fell in love with this coat. I went to Zara to pick something else and I walk out with the, with the coat. And the thing that I was picking up was supposed to be 20 euro and this was like 150 euro. But the color of this coat is everything. I love it. And I think it looks so good with black and white. And with this pattern, this juicy, bold color of a coat is really amazing. Don't you agree? This is how it is. Uh, I think it's amazing. So I just feel so stylish in this that I don't know, like, like I cannot explain. I just feel amazing in this outfit, in this coat. That's all what matters, right? And again, I will wear my college bag because the black bag will look beautiful with this outfit. So here we have the final look with my beloved college bag. You can see that I wear this bag so much so often. I guess I should probably prepare some other outfits now uh, with different bags uh, because I think I used this bag three times already in this video. Probably I should be more diverse with the bags that I wear or at least the bags that I put into a video, but at least you know how much I love this bag and how much I wear this bag. <laughs> wide leg pants. Uh, these are from Zara. I got them in the summer and it will be full gray look with this uh, top from H&M from a while ago. These are the pants and the top and for shoes I'm going to do sneakers on a higher platform. So these sneakers are from Tommy Heifliger from a while ago. Uh, they are metallic and they have like gold, silver and rose gold. So they th I think they look good with many different outfits and also I like to wear them for the height and for those long pants I think that will be a very good idea. Here we have the shoes with the pants. The pants are covering the shoes pretty much all and that was the whole point of the um, outfit because of course we could do high heels here but who wants to wear high heels when you don't have to? Now we want to be comfortable so having some uh, nice sneakers uh, and hiding them under our 
wide leg pants i think is a very good idea so this is very comfy and elegant outfit but if it's cold on your side like it's very cold on my side we can do a little cropped sweater and make this uh, look a little bit uh, warmer i have this uh, jumper or turtleneck jumper from zara from last year and i'm going to use it but any cropped uh, jumper would uh, do so here we have it, uh, the jumper and the pants, and you can even tuck it in if you want a little bit. And I think it should be hanging a little bit more on the back and a little bit less on the front. Uh, then I think the proportions are right. And now we're going to coat it up uh, and I'm going to share with you my recent purchase from H&M Coat, which cost really very little. Can't remember, I will link it below. But this coat, it looks like much, much higher quality than H&M. It's amazing and it has this uh, off-white grayish tone which i was dying for a couple of years i think now to get some kind of white but not completely white uh, coat so here we go the coat look at this i mean it's amazing and would you say that this is asian m like no way it's it's just amazing such a high quality of course it's not wool or anything special uh, but it looks really good and it's stiff it has shape and actually i already got this kind of the same style in brown uh, last winter so they bring them uh, every year apparently now i would only recommend this one because i think the brown is not so nice brown and the black doesn't look that good i think the stripes that we see on this material they are making the coat more elevated and looking much more expensive than it really is and for the back we are going to do my medium lulu from ysl the gray will pick on the gray of the pants and that's how the look is presented. I was going to finish the video with that uh, last outfit. However, since I have uh, a few more minutes to record, I'm going to share with you one more outfit. This is an outfit I wore already and I shared it on me, my Instagram and I don't know why people loved it. Uh, so let's uh, make a bonus here. And with this outfit, I'm giving myself opportunity to share with you the other coat from H&M, which I just mentioned uh, before in the beige. Uh, so for this outfit, we are going to do this uh, blouse, uh, which is from TK Maxx, from the brand uh, Cafe. I have no idea what it is and beige brown uh, wide leg pants uh, from Zara. So let's put it on. So here we have the blouse and the pants. I kept the same shoes. I actually think I wore the same shoes with this outfit. Also long pants covering the shoe. Uh, so it's just for comfort uh, and not wiping the floors. And now let's put the coat. So this is the same style, the same uh, cut of a coat from H&M, but this one is in this kind of light beige. I really recommend you checking out those coats. They are really beautiful and really uh, like great quality, great looking for a really, really good price. So here we have the coat. And for this coat, I wore my Audion because truth to be told, I actually bought this coat to wear it with my Louis Vuitton monogram bags because I don't think they go that well with every color or especially colorful outfits. And I'm lacking on the browns uh, and beiges and all the neutrals. Uh, so that was a uh, purchase inspired by a uh, Louis Vuitton monogram and having something to wear with it. So I wore my Audion with this chain. This chain is from Samorga. Uh, I actually wear it most of the time with this chain or some other chains. Um, don't really use the strap. Um, and this is the final look. Uh, very office appropriate, very, sh very chic, I would say. And as I said, I posted on my Instagram, on my stories, I sometimes share my outfit if I remember to do that. And people loved it. And it's, as I said, very office appropriate and it's actually not very typical for me. I didn't wear that kind of office appropriate uh, outfits. I am more of a, like, playing with fashion, but in a safe way, not, not going too crazy. Uh, but recently I really enjoyed this kind of, uh, you know, wide leg pants and this kind of uh, more like uh, elegant office uh, professional aesthetic. Uh, so that's what I was wearing uh, recently. So that's all for the video. I hope you enjoy. I hope you got some inspiration for your everyday looks uh, in this video. And I hope we can turn it into a monthly series where I will share with you my outfits that I already wore. Please let me know what you think of them. Which look was your favorite one? Uh, were you surprised what I wear for everyday? Uh, please let me know i am really waiting for your feedback i hope we can turn this into a monthly series thank you for watching thank you for spending some time with me i will see you in my next video and until next time take care and don't forget to enjoy your life bye guys yeah.